Greg, do you like my fancy new I mug? I like that. I enjoy bacon periodically. <laughs> <laughs> that is so the periodic just, table. Oh uh, yeah, Tammy, the producer. We had a, a blind a little gift, gift exchange. Yeah, that yeah. is. Oh wow. That's uh, you got, has Jason you got Carr the perfect one right it. there with you. There's about four drinks from a restaurant in there. <laughs> there any more over there? This uh, is going to be a fun real where, where talk. I'll tell you that. <laughs> All right. Well, let's talk about the movies. This is a really big weekend. For yes, movies. it is. Uh, so this one is probably one of the most anticipated weekends <laughs> at the box office for 2019. <laughs> let's get to real talk. Brought to us by our sponsors, MJR Digital Cinemas. We've got Greg here in the studio. Yay. Thanks for being oh, here. Oh, always a pleasure. This is great with both of you in the tree. <laughs> yeah, feeling all festive. I am. You've got your shirt on. Yeah. We're talking about Star Wars. Mm -hmm. um, now let's talk about it. So this is the this is the finale to Skywalker right. saga, mm -hmm. Star Wars, the ride of Skywalker. So what can you say about this? It, it's a good movie. It really is. Ooh, is oh, that uh, damning it with faint praise? Oh, yeah. no, 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 because Jay and I were even talking. It's a, it is. It's a good movie. A very Not good a movie? great movie, okay. but... A Excellent, transcendent, very good, good, okay. So is oh, it very, very good? good. Yeah. Very good. Okay. Yeah, uh, because it does wrap up everything, mm -hmm. and it is one of those deals where there's certain parts where they've got a little bit too much going on in certain scenes, but, you know, that's during the wars and the fights and all like that. But, like I said, everything comes kind of like full circle, and honest to God, Jason, when you see it, there's a lot of cameos in this. There's one, I know at the end you're going to see it, and I can hear you already in the theater going, oh my goodness! Can we please get that recorded? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I've ever said, oh my goodness. Life, They'll say, oh my goodness. Like, yeah. That's to Betsy. <laughs> there you go. Keepers! It's <laughs> but, we have a clip that we're going to roll here. Uh, so, uh, this is the end. My goodness! <laughs> <laughs> Somebody well said it. Somebody well, had to say well it. Well played, Kim. Well played. <laughs> so this uh, this moment that you're talking about that is going to have me saying uh, "Heavens to Betsy" or "Heavens yes. to Murgatroyd," would it happen to involve an actor who once starred in beer commercials? Um, malt liquor? No. No, 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 because I know no, about that. No, he's in it though. Yeah, Billy, and he still got it. <laughs> he still, he just got still it. walks in. 83 years 83 old. 83 years old, uses his line from Lady Sings the Blues, you want my arm to fall off, shake my hand, baby. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> what did you think of this? How many reels? I said four. Four, four out, out of five. Out of five. Uh, because it's the it's, classic. It's the Star classic. Wars. It's the end. And kind of like what you and I have talked about before, we all have our own favorite Star Wars. It's been on for 42 years. So we're always going to like one movie more than the other. Right. For me, it's still always going to be 1977, the first mm -hmm. one. And the thing but, with Star Wars is the expectations are Oh, absolutely. Right? They're through the roof. Yeah. So you're immediately going to come out and go, uh, right. You know, how about this? 27 hours of film and only about, what, 10 minutes of Darth Vader in his full Darth Vader yeah. regalia kicking butt. It, and it wasn't even one of the main ones. It was a spinoff one. Right. Like Rogue One. Yeah. Where he boards the ship and, and, right. and basically. Dur, 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 yeah. People don't forget. How do you mess that up if you're George Lucas? How do you right. not have Darth Vader get more screen time being oh. a really bad, bad guy? Right. He should have been. Because, like I said, he's the greatest villain, really, probably in movie history. Yeah. And think about it. This is probably also the greatest franchise ever in movie history. Yeah. So that's why people have so much love, you know, for all the different movies. All right. There are two other movies out this week. Yeah. Who cares? We can just keep talking <laughs> no, about No, I care about this one. I'm so I know. excited about this one. Am I <laughs> All right, next movie, Bombshell. This has received already so many award nominations. Yeah. The stellar cast, tell us oh, what you thought. It, it, it's a great movie. We watched it the other night. It's all about, you know, the women who work at the Fox Network and different things that happen. Charlize Theron, it's fabulous. I didn't even recognize her. She she's looks, Megan Kelly. Yeah, she's yeah literally but the movie's is. not about her. It's of Gretchen Carlson that the movie is about. Right. I'm the young producer who's like a composite of all the, all right. the, the other women that were Yeah. Harassed. Let's take a look at the clip. If you're able to stick it out at Fox, gather more evidence, you might be able to sue Ailes himself instead of Fox. And that is why I'm here, because Marty Hyman told me that over here in New Jersey, I can avoid arbitration by suing Roger personally. He says that you've managed to change the law and that we could call other women and show a pattern 
Will other women come forward? Yes, they will. You live and work in New York. Roger has a house in Burden County where he stays when he can't make it upstate. You do your homework, Miss Carlson. No fingerprints. That's how much I practiced the violin as a child. If Roger finds out you came to us, he won't just fire you. Mm. He will bang us with a million dollar lawsuit. He will attack you personally. Mm. These men, they care more about their reputations than they do money. Yeah, it's Steven Root. Mm -hmm. Wow. I mean, Margot Robbie, we've mm -hmm. got, um, who was, I can't think Nicole. Nicole Kidman. Nicole Kidman. Is also in it. Yeah, the stellar cast. Is it? Deserving of all oh, of them. Oh, yeah. She looks just like Megan she Kelly. She does. It she drives does. me crazy. Like I said, it does. It throws you off when you first see it. Yes, it does deserve all the praise and okay. different things it's getting. It's kind of like the, this year's The Post, you know, based off of a true story and all like that. And you get to see it. And like I said, just the performances alone are excellent. So is Charlize Theron quietly sneaking up on Meryl Streep as our greatest living actress? Could be. And this may get her, of course, like another Academy Award nomination. She's already won an Academy Award. So. Monster. Yeah. Yeah, she's, so she's moving on up. She can do no wrong in my book. Yeah. How many rolls again? Four. Four. All yep. right. Finally, we have... Ca oh, God. <laughs> hey, I'm excited about this one, too. I laughed. I cried. It was better than Cats. <laughs> I don't... I don't... I, I, <laughs> okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. You take this. This I really yeah, like the ahead, cast in this one. Let's talk about Cats. This yes. movie is not getting that good of press, that great of press, but uh, it's getting slammed, I, even people are saying. What would you say about yeah, this Yeah, Oh, I've heard, because this one I didn't see because I was out of when they had the screening for this is what what did somebody write cats is going to the dogs and that's oh, that's kind of wow. like the universal thing that people have been saying i was thinking litter well, box I think yeah. people are uncomfortable with the outfit like the how the cats look right like i read all right Twitter so let's not crazy. waste any time on negativity yeah. cats is no good all right let's go to the swag <laughs> you know table. it is good right swag table swag's good right over there we have got star wars galore starting out with a star wars hat a t-shirt just like the one i'm wearing some Star Wars pop figures, including Finn, BB-8, and a Sith Lord over there. Also, uh, a couple of uh, small toys there, some Je uh, Jedi fighters, and a lightsaber of your very own to take home for Christmas. And then for cats, we'd have those really nice cat earmuffs over there, a uh, cat coffee mug, and a cat t-shirt, and the little things that go on the back of your phone, Ooh. you know, that hold up. Pop socket. Yep, that's it. And then also <laughs> on this side, uh, I've got a couple of passes to see Star Wars oh. to give away to you, as well as a cat sweatshirt, which is really kind of nice, especially on a cold day like today, and some movie passes to see the new movie, A Hidden Life. So got a bunch of those. So Merry Christmas. A lot Happy of Happy holidays. I like this. I'm Santa today. <laughs> You're great. Yes, <laughs> thank you. Well, to enter in to win some of Greg's giveaways, just go to our Live in the D Facebook page or the contest page at clickondetroit.com. Contest rules are posted there as well. Thank you, Greg. Thank you both. <laughs> to see a list of the showtimes at an MJR digital <laughs> cinema near you, go to their <laughs> website. I know we say cinema but then the website is MJR theater ah, and it's, it's right. a fancy spelling of theater yeah, theater <laughs> theater That's a fancy MJR stuff theater. going on <laughs> dot com